Sam, would be nice if you could last ask Lee about the current beef going on between different fitness channels and v- and vegan gains. Vegan. He makes videos calling out biggest channels like POG, Tiger Fitness, DLB, etc., and pretty much ridicules them on even the simplest grammar mistakes they have made. Oh, fucking hell. I, first, I personally find even his... grammar mistakes. I personally find his point of view... Um, well, it's DLB, Daniel in Bailey, isn't it? Or, yeah. So he's talking about all these fitness channels people have, he's just... Yeah. Well, obviously, he ain't at the gym fucking training. If he's got time to watch all these fitness channels, I've never even fucking heard of them. <laughs> I don't care if people make grammar mistakes when they're on stage competing. They're not. It's not a fucking spelling bee contest, you fuck. Who so <laughs> gives a shit if someone pronounces a word wrong? I do it all the time. My speech is in the best. I might have a speech impediment. Who so gives a fuck? For you to sit there and critique someone's speech, even man, you do need a fucking life. No, no. I think I think he's he's being critical of. Um, there's a channel called Vegan Gains. Everyone oh, keeps Vegan Gains and and the vegan. And it's Vegan Gains. That's the channel name. Or that's the guy's name. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if, if your name's Vegan Gains, we got a channel called Vegan Gains. You fucking got a mental problem to begin with. So. <laughs> Just come up with solutions. <laughs> it's, it's fucking stupid. So. But if this Vegan Gains is too busy commenting on people. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Who cares? That's why I say, who cares? If he's got time to sit there and critique stuff, it's like I said, that Christian Duke guy, whatever his name is, that had a go at me and my wife Jade, and the way he carries on. If you see the guy, he's a fucking mess. He's a mess. He regularly goes to the gym and he reckons he's a fucking reporter and he's reporting on all this stuff. No one listens to his shit because he's just a dickhead. He's a laughing stock, he's a joke. And when you see him, and then if people say anything about Jay, Jay looked at the pictures of his missus. Now, Jay wants to be nasty. Well, fucking hell. You talk about inbreeding. Fucking hell. <laughs> if these two weren't inbred, I don't, I don't think they were, but these two shouldn't fucking breed. <laughs> um, well, this this leads on to another question from Blaze Duck. He, he's, Blaze he's, Duck? No, no, he's, he's another one of your good fans from, um, I think he's, uh, from memory, it's Sean from Newcastle, UK. Um, Pass on time. Hi Sam, could you tell Lee I said oi oi and ask oi, what he oi. what he thinks about some bodybuilders on plant based diets and what he thinks of veg- vegetarianism or veganism, no, veganism in general? I don't. I don't think about them. I don't know <laughs> what's going on in my life to think about people eating fucking plant based <laughs> fucking diets. How do you I reckon you'd go? I wanted to ask me the other day too about vegans and all this other shit. It's like, I don't care. I don't even know what vegans eat. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. What is it? Like a vegetarian, but what? They have a little bit of meat or what? Oh, mate. What's I, the difference between sorry. a vegan and a vegetarian? Vegans can't have any animal products whatsoever. Well. No. Well, uh, so what? Milk, nothing. Nothing. They can go eat no. fucking, they can go eat their fucking plants, dibble on their fucking nuts and fucking have whatever they want. Can they have eggs? No. No, no. no, no well, shit. Well, it would be handy if you had a vegan um, at home. You wouldn't have to mow the lawns. Well, they're going to go eat the fucking grass. <laughs> so what you're really saying is a vegan's a goat. <laughs> so who cares? I'm sure, see, I'm not a vegan, so I don't know. If you were a vegan, I'm sure you know what proteins you can have and what you can't have and what fucking foods you can eat and what you can't eat because you're a vegan. They got books for vegans. They got everything out there for vegans. I'm not a fucking vegan, so don't fucking ask me. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> don't ask someone that's a fucking vegan that's a bodybuilder. How would I know? <laughs> like I said, go have a carrot and some fucking cashews and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sean's Sean is actually a good. I know uh, Sean's a nice guy, but how I'm still so saying, Sean. How the fuck would I know? <laughs> I'm not a vegan. <laughs> like asking me about brain surgery. I'm not a fucking doctor. I don't know about brain surgery either. Beat up crack. Have, I don't have any friends that are vegans and I know this sort of shit, so... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not big if up in... If you're a vegan, I'm sure you know what you can and can't have. I'm sure you know what has protein that you can have. Maybe you can have tofu. I don't know. So you'd have to just work out what you can eat and your protein intake from the foods you can have. As simple as that. I, I as think simple as if I can eat meat, I get my protein from meat. If you can't, 
you work out where you can get yours from and fucking get it from there. Um, I think I think the um, you know the the question probably is um, no, you haven't ever considered going um, vegan. vegan. Why would I? And um, unless um, I had a medical problem and had to, then I would. But I don't, so there's no need for me to be a vegetarian or a vegan. Yeah. Or an astronaut. Yeah. I don't need to be any of these things. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes I go vegan just for one meal a Why? week or something like that. Just for a change. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, you have a fruit salad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm yeah, Have a fruit salad. And See, you vegan. are vegan. <laughs> I had a fruit smoothie. Yeah. I got the magic board. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't care about vegans or vegetarians. So you haven't looked into it, you're not going to... No. Or, um, it's not up to me, it's up to them. Yeah. It's like with schools, and you know, you can't fucking send your kids to schools with fucking peanut butter sandwiches on the telly because some little cunt at school might have a peanut allergy. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? If your kid's got a peanut allergy, he should go sit by his fucking self. <laughs> and then steal the kid's lunch who has peanut butter. There's so many fucking allergies at school right now, it's a fucking joke. <laughs> oh, you can't have this, you can't have that, you can't bring this to school because some kid. Out of a school of 300 people, if two kids have peanut allergies, that should be up to the teachers and the schools to keep those two kids away from fucking everyone else at lunchtime. Why should my kid not be like that peanut butter just because one cunt's got a peanut allergy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> and if he comes to my kid eating his peanut butter sandwich, maybe he does have a bite and fucking blows up and has convulsions. That's what he gets. <laughs> what are you going to do? Ban all the fucking bees from the school in case the kid goes all hyperloptic when he fucking steps on a fucking bee? Fucking hell. Hey, just wrap that, that, that's, a, that's a good idea, let's actually. Send our, let's just send our kids to school like fucking big tampons wrapped in cotton wool. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, dead. our kids could We sent them to school the other day with Nutella, didn't they? And they come home. We can't have Nutella anymore because of some kids. It's like at lunchtime, like I said, the parents tell the teachers, listen, my kid's got these allergies, so when lunchtime comes, the kids with the allergies, you go sit at this table, the other kids that don't can all sit over here. Fucking simple as that. Fuck me dead. When they go out for dinner today, you fucking separate the restaurant for these fuckwits that have all these allergies in life. No, well, I, I, actually, I can say, look, um, Jake's got a, a peanut allergy, but yeah. we still have peanut butter at home and, and um, um, we'll eat. You're just hoping he eats it, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, look, well, it's funny. Look, he is that, he is that, um, um, like he'll always say. You ever give him a little bit just to fuck with him? No, <laughs> no, no. Well, we, we haven't had to. We, like if you if you're eating it and you give him a kiss or but something. Isn't it amazing how many allergies there are these days? You never heard this shit when we yeah. went to school. But no, we he he always yeah. says before you eat something, like he eats the same stuff anyway. Kids mm -hmm. eat the same things. They don't eat a lot. But he always says, oh, if it's anything different, does this have nuts in it? No. So he doesn't... Did you tell him, shut up and have a fucking Snickers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> but no, it's, you're 100% right. It's up to the, it's the kids' responsibility. The school and then, as like I said, why should all the other kids at school have to suffer for a few? No, I agree. It's just like I said, you get a school of, what? Say you had a school of a thousand kids and... Two of the kids that go there are Jewish or Muslim. Oh, we can't have Christmas carols and that's going to offend these two kids. I'm sure these two kids couldn't care less. It's always just these do-gooders who worry about that sort of shit as well. So we keep changing all these fucking rules for the minority. It's just fucking ridiculous. Fuck them. <laughs> Being racist again, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>